If you've been around the gym scene for a while, you've probably heard the term muscle memory being thrown around. Today, I'm gonna to look at this muscle memory, clear up exactly what it is, remove any bro science from it, and explain exactly how it works. So if it applies to you, you can take full advantage of it. So first of all, what is muscle memory? Now let's say you've been training for a while, training for a number of solid, consistent years, training long enough that you've been able to experience noticeable muscle growth. But then, for whatever reason, you stop training. You stop training long enough that the muscle hypertrophy that you were able to achieve is no longer. And hypertrophy starts to occur. Your once buff self is now, well, not so buff. You're back to square one. Muscle memory is the concept that if you were to pick your training back up again, even after all your regression, you would regain your lost muscle in a faster time than it took you to achieve the first time round. Your muscle growth this time round would be accelerated. Good news is, this muscle memory is a very real thing. To understand how this works, we first need to understand and give up some appreciation for a particular cell known as satellite cells. Satellite cells are cells within our body that spend most of their time chilling. Think of them as players on your team just waiting on the bench. Now when we train and train hard, we cause muscle damage. One of the recovery physiological processes that our body takes when muscle damage is present is to wake up your satellite cells, get them off the bench, and send them to your exercise damaged muscle fibers. There the satellite cells make the ultimate sacrifice, all in the name of muscle growth and recovery, and donate their nuclei to the damaged muscle fiber. Now we're saying, for whatever reason, you've stopped training. Here's the cool thing. While your untrained muscles will be experiencing apertrophy, depressingly decreasing in size, they are not decreasing in the number of nuclei. Your shrunk up muscle still holds the same volume of nuclei that your satellite cells donated to it on a consistent basis over the consistent years of previous training. Here's the thing guys, it's this elevated number of nuclei in your muscle fibers that provide the mechanism for muscle memory. Understand the greater number of nuclei in the muscle means a greater volume of protein synthesis occurring. The greater amount of protein synthesis occurring or taking place means a faster rate of muscle growth. This explains the long lasting effects of training and the ease with which previously trained individuals more easily return to their former trained physiques. So if you're a prime candidate to be taking advantage of muscle memory, someone who has had some decent time off, what's the best training and comeback approach? Well, I understand anything you do with a moderate to high intensity resistance training wise will help trigger your already increased potential for protein synthesis. So with that in mind, I personally always look to prescribe those with long periods of training layoffs with first a reintroductory to prime movements. This isn't because they're back at square one and I'm treating them like a newbie. No, it's because I'm re-establishing their mind-muscle connection and previous movement patterns again as fast as possible. I personally prescribe clients to perform two weeks of these re-establishment workouts, focusing on the main movement patterns that I plan to use heavily later in their programs. Because these movement patterns are the ones that the individual would have previously performed competently before having that training layoff, the movement and mind-muscle connection will return at a far faster rate than say when a newbie tries them for the first time. Two weeks is generally long enough to achieve the needed movement re-establishment. Then from week three onwards, we're back into full normal training intensity, taking full advantage of the individual's ready and waiting increased volume in nuclei. So if you find yourself returning to the gym after a long layoff, just realize you're not actually starting from day one again. You're already primed for a fast comeback. So stop playing and take advantage of the ready and waiting increased volume in nuclei and make that comeback you so often think about. Guys, thank you very much for watching my first YouTube video or my first comeback YouTube video. It's not my first attempt at YouTube, but uh, it is my plan to be putting one of these types of videos out every single week. So I'm gonna spend a week researching, shooting, and then I upload it on a weekly basis. So if there is a topic that you want me to cover, something you've always wondered about and wondered what the science behind it was, let me know, drop it in the comments, and if we get enough of a response, yeah, I'll put together a specific video around that topic. Uh, next week, guys, I'm I'm thinking about covering the, the simple question, do I really need a protein shake after training? And I'm gonna look at the science of this because there's a couple trains of thought on this, but I'll save that for next week. But guys, please, please subscribe. I don't want you missing my weekly videos. And yeah, again, guys, thank you very, very much. And we'll see you next week.